You're watching Fox 45 in Baltimore. Now live from TV Hill, this is Be More Lifestyle. Hey, what's up, Baltimore? It's me, Lady T, and this is Be More Lifestyle, live from Studio B at Fox Baltimore. All right, so here with me today, meteorologist Amy Aronson is here with us, along with my girl, Tara Reeves. Hey, ladies. Hi. All right, all right, let me tell you right now. So let's talk about a great job opportunity for taco lovers. The Baltimore area spice company, McCormick, has created the first ever director of taco relations. Oh, fancy, huh? Oh, and it pays $100,000. If you think you're a fit, <laughs> submit a creative video no longer than two minutes showing why you would be perfect for this job. The deadline is Tuesday and it's sneaking up on us. I want this job. I feel like I was made for this. <laughs> I have crushed many uh, Chipotle tacos and I feel like I can do this job very easily and I have a couple references, okay? Now tell me, ladies, any of you guys, uh, would you guys want to try this? Would you guys sign up? What do you think? Yeah, I mean, who wouldn't want this job? Mm -hmm. uh, not only do I like to eat tacos, I think I make some really good turkey tacos. Oh, I, I so. bet you do, because you're the cook. You're yeah. the main cook on here, so I know you make good tacos. What, what makes a good taco, Amy? Tell me. I think it's I think it's the flavor and mm -hmm. if it's juicy or not. Ooh, so very turkey true. tacos, I feel like turkey over beef, you can make that juicier. Yes. So I'll add that to my resume. Maybe that'll help me out. OK, so we're coming over to, to Amy's house for a taco night. Taco night. Taco so Terry. Sarah, is this a job that you feel like you are suited for? What do you think? <laughs> Absolutely. Like you, oh, I've crushed a lot of tacos during quarantine. They go great with margaritas. I agree with Amy. Definitely a juicy taco is the best. So you have mm -hmm. to have the perfect tortilla. So that way it doesn't give way halfway through the taco. But this mm -hmm. is something that I would actually do for free. So what? the fact you would that they're also free? offering... I would do it for but free. But then you gotta give me the hundred thousand. You gotta give me the hundred thousand, Dad. Okay. No, 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 no. Because currently I'm paying for tacos, so to get paid to eat tacos, it's a win-win. <laughs> it's, right? it's a win-win. It's a win-win. Them tacos are three dollars per taco. I just want to remind everybody in the world right now, it's three dollars per taco. I'm still taking that hundred grand, okay? But the guac, I really feel like the guacamole really make guacamole sour cream. I love the toppings that Good I can cream. put on a taco, you know, and that really makes it. So for taco lovers, obviously we win today because we're all gonna sign up. <laughs> obviously, okay? All right, now we want you all to tell it, will you be applying for the spicy job? Vote now on our website, foxbaltimore.com slash vote. When you get to our website, be sure to click on the lifestyle tab. You can also vote on the Fox 45 News app. At the end of the show, we're gonna see what everybody thinks. All right, the next hot topic today, the uniforms for the Team USA in Tokyo. Now they're built to cool and reduce waste. So designer Ralph Lauren has put cooling technology into the jackets of the flag bearers. The rest of the Team USA will be in tailored navy blazers made of US grown wool with blue and white striped t-shirts dyed in a process that uses less water, chemicals and energy and a belt made of recycled uh, materials. So I don't like any of this. I love Ralph Lauren. I don't like any, I don't like any of that. I feel like maybe he was trying new things and was like, here we go. This is good. Um, I, I don't like the look of it. I was hoping for something a little bit better. And I saw they had like another white look and it looked like they were going to NASA. They was about to go into space. Um, what do you ladies think? I'm gonna ask Tara. I know you have a fashionista background. What do you think about this? You know what's funny, Lady T? I didn't picture NASA. So when I saw the white denim jacket, but now that you say it, I mm -hmm. can't get it out of my mind. They going to space after You're, Tokyo. You nailed it. <laughs> after Especially Tokyo, because space. they have, yes, after Tokyo, they're going to join Richard Branson and Elon Musk. They're going to space. I'll join them too. I've already <laughs> signed up to try and go to space with them. But the technology is mm -hmm. a game changer. Like right. it's supposed to cool off your neck. Honestly, like the back sweat, especially now when oh, yeah. the temperatures are serious. getting so high it's and so it's hot, hot. it mm -hmm. is a game changer for your outfit, honestly. It is, it is. Honestly. that is pretty Not cool. Not mad about it. So Amy, meteorology, I need, I need to know, what do you think about this besides the back sweat? Are you cool with 
this new look. I mean, look aside, I do think it's really cool that they're using recyclable materials and trying to keep waste down and promote all of that good stuff. Because, right. I mean, that message is really cool. I'm not sure what other mm -hmm. countries are doing, but mm -hmm. I think it's good that the U.S. is taking a stand on that and promoting yeah. that in the outfit, that whether or not nice. it's fashionable. Right. I was going to say, now that is nice, but they could have made it look a little bit, where's the glitter? Where's the sparkle? Where's the dazzle? You know what I mean? I wanted some more of that stuff. But, you know, either way, it doesn't matter because I know we all still rooting for Team USA. Right, ladies? Okay. All right. Well, thank you, guys. Take a summer drive to Pikesville. Still ahead, the farmer's market fun happening well into the fall season. And hang out at one of the coolest spots during the summer. Next, we're checking out the Sandlot. This Be More Lifestyle segment is sponsored by Baltimore Spirits Company. Welcome to the Sandlot, where it's the coolest place to be on a hot day and the hottest place to be on a cool night. This is Be More Eats and Drinks, sponsored by Baltimore Spirits Company. So today we have a couple options. We have two different fries. We have the crab fry, pr uh, produced locally, along with the crab, the potatoes we get from Pennsylvania, from uh, Franklin Farms. We got the burger right here, which we get from Liberty Meats and uh, Racer's Town, which we also do over there on a wood-fired grill that uh, it's usually my station, you know. And uh, we have two arepas, which Jalen can explain. Yeah, so the two arepas that we have for today are the short rib one here. And presented with this is the combo deal that we've been selling. It's a fan favorite. Um, and the other one that we have is chicken salad, and that's also another combo deal. So, the arepa is uh, it's a Venezuelan kind of dough. Uh, it's produced with corn flour, and it's uh, we make it on the flat top right here. And it's uh, kind of like a regular style dough. We kind of stuff with kind of different options, like Jalen said, short rib, chicken salad. We have a vegetarian option. We did beans and cheese before. We had asparagus. We switch it up all the time. We keep, uh, you know, we keep people guests. It's everything you could look for in a bar, but outdoors. You have like the, the, I mean, the bay right here. You can see while taking a drink. You got a, a grill that's wood fired. So different. Uh, we get the, the, the wood, the wood locally. Everything's produced locally. It's all fresh. We never freeze anything here. And it's like from the farm to us to the customer. Makes it all really fresh and tastes really great. I'm Shawnee Austin. I am the general manager here at Sandlot Baltimore. Sandlot is unique because we have a little bit of everything. Thing. We're family friendly, we're dog friendly. You can come and hang out with your grandmother, you can bring your kids and have a good time. You also can hang out with a group of friends and enjoy a great cocktail while getting a beautiful view of the Chesapeake. While you're here, we have tons of things for you to enjoy. Not only do we have cornhole and bocce ball, but we have a full-size volleyball court as well as delicious refreshing cocktails, as well as live music and DJs on the weekend. Uh, my name is Madison Parkman. I'm a bartender here at Sandlot. The Baltimore Spirit Company cocktail that we make is used with Shot Tower Gin, um, and it goes into our Spiked Peach Lemonade, which is one of our top-selling drinks. Peach lemonade's really good for when you're sitting out on the beach and it's so hot out. Uh, we add a shot of gin in it, Shot Tower Gin from Baltimore Spirit Company, and then a full shot of our Lemoncello. We have a peach puree, which we make every day. Everything that we have is locally sourced, so Baltimore Spirit Company's right across from us. And we're just gonna top it off with a little bit of club soda and some fresh llama. And this is our spiked peach lemonade. You can find us at www.sandlotbaltimore.com. We are at 1000 Will Street right here in Baltimore City. All right, make room for some summer fun before the school year arrives. Still ahead, we're taking a look at how parents can navigate the remainder of summer. And get out and shop local. Next, all the fun this year at the Pikesville Farmer's Market. Stay tuned. This is Be More Lifestyle. All right, get your grocery shopping done outside while supporting local small businesses. The Pikesville Farmers Market happens every Tuesday through November 30th. Beth Reingold is the president of Pikesville Owings Mills Regional Chamber of Commerce. Renee Carter is the owner of Your Traveling Chef, and she's joined by Tia Shorter. Hello, thank you all for joining us today. Hello. All Hello. 
right. Too. I'm excited to hear about this farmer's market, but let's talk to Beth first. Okay, talk to us about what we can expect at the farmer's market. Hello. So uh, you can expect over 30 vendors at our market. This is our 20th year. We're at Pomona Square. You can get everything from Miss Renee's amazing soul food at your traveling chef to crab cakes to Israeli style falafel. Plus, we have lots of artisans and plenty of other vendors to see too. Oh, okay. Now let's talk to Renee. Renee, are you are you cooking something for us? What's cooking good looking? I want to see. Yeah. <laughs> well, hello, good afternoon, everyone. Yes, we are going to be doing a salmon Alfredo, and we're going to be doing um, a salmon, salmon wrap. wrap. Oh, I love um, Alfredo. So people like to do the chicken and shrimp Alfredo, but we wanted to do something different. Oh. So we have all of our ingredients here, and we have mm -hmm. our bell pepper, mushroom, uh, broccoli, red onion, spinach, sun-dried tomato, and our, our seasonings. Oh, okay. That sounds good. It's going to give it a good taste, a good uh, spice to it also, it sounds like, with the peppers. Yes. And we also have our, we have our famous bread pudding that everyone comes out to buy with our famous rum sauce that we make. Oh, now I'm a bread pudding fan. Do you guys put those little, <laughs> those little, do you guys do like little raisins or do you do like those little yeah, tiny absolutely. grapes? Raisins. Yeah, we, yeah, use, we use raisins. Oh. We also, on um, a different time, we could also add applesauce or peaches and some other different things that can go inside of it as well. But most people like raisins, so we do raisins. Oh, that sounds good. Okay. Well, okay. Well, y'all, while y'all are cooking, um, Beth, is it easy to get involved? Like, how, tell me more about it. Yeah, so we have a really good following, um, folks who come from Baltimore City, Pikesville, Owings Mills, and um, folks just stop by between two and six. So we get a we get a lunch crowd, um, a late lunch crowd. We get some after work folks, and I want to emphasize that our market accepts um, FMNP. That's the Farmers Market Nut Nutrition Program. We accept SNAP. And we participate in the Maryland Money Market Program. So those are all great ways that we support our local community. But um, it's a great way to shop outside, um, get local produce, and support small businesses. Oh, that's amazing. So it's all for a good cause. You're getting fresh food, and it all I, it all sounds good. And I, I can't wait. And I think this is something that a lot of families will go out and enjoy, right? Yes, definitely. We love to see our families. We get, we do giveaways weekly. We have um, free uh, reusable shopping bags. We oh, give okay, good. seeds, flower seeds to kids. So to plant, a lot of things are offered during it. Okay, so Pikesville yes. Farmers Market, everyone. Beth, Renee, and Tia, thank you so much for joining us today. Thank Hi. you. Thank you. All right. In our best weather in America, we're finally in a day without a weather alert. Meteorologist Amy Aronson is here now with the stunning sunrise this morning. Hey, Amy, girl. Hey, Tiff. Yeah, finally, we're taking a break from the really, really intense heat, plus the chance for showers and storms. That being said, it's still going to be hot today, and our sunrise says it all. That orangey sun making an appearance for the first time this morning. This image comes to us from D.C., but closer to home. Justin tweeted this out earlier this morning. You can see that little ball of fire just crossing over the horizon, and that's what's going to provide us that heat again today. So we are still enjoying that sunshine at this hour. Right now, some hazy sunshine down at the Inner Harbor. We've got another hot day ahead of us, so another day in the middle of this what seems like a never-ending heat wave as high shoot into the mid-90s. Those rain and storms will be back over the weekend, but that's actually going to bring an end to the heat wave, bringing us out of the 90s and back into the 80s by next week. And this is the culprit. This is the cold front we're tracking. It's going to work its way in in from west to east as we head over the next couple of days, sending us our next real threat for showers and storms by the weekend. So right now we're remaining dry, dry and very toasty in the mid and upper 80s in all locations. Just a little bit of humidity today, making it feel a few degrees hotter than that. Now, no rain chances today. Today, rain chances look pretty limited. Same goes for Friday. So we're actually going to move this forward and head right into the weekend. That's when that cold front gets closer to us. I think Saturday starts off dry, but we see those showers and storms creep in Saturday evening and same setup Sunday. We start off dry in the morning, but we see showers and storms develop during the afternoon and then behind that cold front, that's when we bring temperatures down. So here's 
a look at those rain chances, keeping them very low, non-existent for the next two days. But showers and storms make a comeback over the weekend and wrap up by Monday. And here's what that means for our temperatures and our 10 day forecast. Two more days in this very hot stretch, actually three more when you count Saturday's high of 95. But then showers and storms rush in over the weekend, and that's what brings us into the 80s. And that's where we'll stay next week. Next week looks a little better, a little bit more manageable with highs in the upper 80s, both Monday and Tuesday. Back to you. This Be More Lifestyle segment is sponsored by Frutella, I Love Ice Cream Cakes, Opal Pop, and Otterbox. After so much time balancing at-home schooling and working remotely, it's time for a change. And joining us today is TV host and working mom, Erica Vitrina, with a parent's guide to summertime fun. Just be sure to be outside and spend time together and make it special, make it fun. We have spent a lot of time together, so you gotta do a little bit, a little bit of work there. Maybe pack your backpack full of all fun games and maybe special treats. My kids right now are really loving these um, Frutella gummies, they're absolutely delicious. They are, basically they were crafted in Italy and just recently launched here, and they're made with real fruit puree. That's the first ingredient, which is important for me. They're just perfectly sweet, not overly sweet, which sometimes I think candy can be. Uh, and the kids just love them. They come in strawberry and raspberry or mango and peach. Whether it's the barbecue or whether it's the game nights or whether you're streaming movies, do it, do it big. My husband just bought a projector and a big a screen, and now we're viewing awesome. movies outside, and the neighborhood kids come over. We make sure we make an event. Everybody's got popcorn, and we actually came across a really cool popcorn company called Opop Pop. So delicious. They basically bring you gourmet popcorn to your house that you actually can pop in your microwave and have fresh. So their technology is that they wrap each kernel in this delicious flavor before you pop it, and the flavors are awesome. It's yeah, They have fancy butter, but they also have Maui heat and vanilla cake pop and salted umami. Cinnamonlicious and cheddar pino, just so completely deli delicious. My mouth is like watering as I talk about it. Um, and you can get that at opoppop.com. If you get the variety pack, you'll even get a reusable microwave uh, container that's really cool as well. And my kids love the I love ice cream cakes. You know what they are, right? The traditional Carvel yes. confetti cake with the chocolate crunchies in the middle. Uh -huh. They love that one. But there are so many flavors. They've got a new flavor of uh, the Carvel cookie dough cake. That's their new favorite. Absolutely delicious. So. Put a couple in your freezer and then just pull them out for any occasion. Like my kids will come back from the pool and I'll pull out an ice cream cake and suddenly it's a party, right? So that's my advice. Um, you can find them in the freezer or the bakery section of your local grocery store, or you can head to iloveicecreamcakes.com and you can um, use the store locator. A lot of people are taking road trips and the kids have their devices with them and they're not always good about their devices, right? So I'm headed, I'm directing all the parents to head to the Otterbox for Kids or check out Otterbox for Kids. These these cases. Um, um, are they have all the protection you would expect from Otterbox, but they also have, they're designed with kids in mind, so they've got these ridges so that it's really easy for the kids to hold. They've got stands that easily prop up, but also hook in easily to the back of the headrest in the car, so you can take them on these road trips with you and it's easy for them to do their thing. They also have easy grab mobile charging and audio bundles that are designed specifically for kids, so really smart, and you can check that out at verizon.com. Where can we go for all these summertime tips? Yeah, you can head to my website, which is ericavitrini.com. All right, Erica, thank you. The perfect job for taco lovers. Vote now on our website, foxbaltimore.com, and tell us if you would apply. The results are up next. Welcome back, and we wanted you to tell it. Are you signing up for the taco job? Well, here are the results, okay? So about 51, 56% say they are working on applying right now because they're ready for the job, okay? <laughs> That's awesome. All right, well, we've got a great show lined up for tomorrow. Don't just survive the summer season. You should also thrive. You need to invest in your self-care right now from the inside out. Tomorrow morning on Be More Lifestyle, we see how to stay fly, fresh, and also flourish this summer. Find out how to have your business featured on Be More Lifestyle. Email us at bemorelifestyletv at foxbaltimore.com. Baltimore, thank you for inviting me into your home today. Make sure you follow Be More Lifestyle on all of our social media. That's Facebook, Twitter, IG, and I will see you tomorrow. Bye.